I wish I knew what drew me to writing for the theater, but it's just, it's just something that I feel naturally alive with. If you look at composers today, you'll find a number of American composers who are almost exclusively theater composers, meaning opera and ballet. And then there's a bunch of American composers on the other side of the coin who are almost exclusively concert composers. There are a few of us who do both. What I tend to do when I start writing a piece is try to see the entire shape, the entire overall arc. Because when you as a listener are hearing a piece of mine for the first time, you're not going to hear the details. You're going to hear the overall shape. So I try to approach the first time, the idea of a piece the first time, the way a listener would hear it the first time. And in doing that, it gives me a better opportunity of creating the right dramatic arc, the kind of dramatic trajectory that will somehow make more sense. I approach designing the music uh, by thinking about balances that need to exist. In, order, in other words, balances between rhythmically driven versus melodically driven music. Fast music versus slow music legato versus marcato. You know, the, uh, I'm thinking in terms of balancing the different contrasts that are available, textures that are more contrapuntal in nature versus more homophonic in nature, textures that tend to be harmonically more gritty, more dissonant versus, versus music that tends to be relatively more consonant. I'm, this is like a three-dimensional chess game that all player, all composers play with themselves. Everything I've done comes from the voice, and then secondly, comes from that physical and sensate connection that I've always had as a, as a pianist. There's this physical, rhythmically driven connection I have from the instrument I've played. And then the other side of the coin is my connection with writing for singers, which I have always loved. You put those two together and, you know, you get a composer who understands fairly well something about the theater, which I do, just naturally, intrinsically, and then you have a composer who's very comfortable writing for dance or writing for opera. And when you get to be a certain age, you know, you realize you, your, your name is attached to everything that's out there, and in my case, it's there forever, you know, it's permanently there and everybody knows about it once it's out there. So I have to make sure it's right. I, wanna, I want the music to be not almost right, not sort of good, but exactly the way it needs to be because it's going to be there always. <laughs> 